Are you trying to find out if Go High Level is the right software for your business to grow? Have you watched other YouTube videos that are giving you reviews on Go High Level, but you're not sure and they're not giving you all the information that you need to make that buying decision? Well, in this video, I'm going to walk you through my honest review of what's good and bad about Go High Level. And some of the issues are coming from Ireland, coming from Europe, outside of the US. What I have found during all of this process over the last few months is Go High Level is still focused on the US. While that's, while that's being said, there's a lot of good and there's some bad that go on with Go High Level. If you're not sure uh, what it is, a one-liner is Go High Level is a all-in-one sales and marketing platform will help you put your business online, bring automation into your business, and allowing you to do just so many things from social media management, posts from lead generation, to managing analytics, to uh, adding in staff and having a CRM so you can manage your pipeline and your customers and your leads that are coming into your business. They have over 40,000 agencies that are signed up or 1.2 million businesses. Their main target market is agency owners like ourselves. So we have set up our own business and our own accounts with Go High Level, and we are pretty transparent about using Go High Level. And the reason is partly because it is we really want to have all of our customers onto Go High Level because it puts everything in one place. It allows everything to be trackable. If someone fills in a form from Facebook ads, or if they call from the website or fill a form in from the website, we really need to be able to track that information. If we can't, where do, where do we recommend to our customers where they spend their marketing budget? So Go High Level gets rid of all those issues. And uh, that's one of the great things about it because it does put a lot in one place. So I have used uh, HubSpot and Salesforce and some of the other cheaper or free versions over the years for CRM and pipeline management, but what I'd found with the other tools is say HubSpot, for example, it, it does have a bit of a nicer, easier to use interface. But one of the main problems is when it's working for you, the price of your subscription is going to skyrocket. While with Go High Level, you're able to start off if you're an individual business for 100 euro per month or $100 per month. And if you are an agency, you're able to set your monthly expense at $500. While if you're using HubSpot, that could go into thousands or tens of thousands of euros or dollars per month just for one account. That's not to talk about upselling to multiple other clients, multiple other accounts, and just expanding your business. So if you're looking to grow your business at scale, either as an individual business or as a agency, Go High Level is an amazing place for you to try out. If you are thinking of signing up or if you're going to try sign up with Go High Level today. I'd love if you use the link down in the description. It is an affiliate link. That's one of the reasons that we are transparent about using Go High Level with our customers and with you is so we can educate everyone on the software, what's happening. And if you feel like it and you don't want to use our services, then you can go use Go High Level on your own and we get a bit of a kickback. It's always much appreciated. Let's get into the benefits of Go High Level. One of the things that Go High Level will always do for you is they push the narrative of what you need to understand about how acquiring customers and nurturing them, giving them attention, will then help you close those customers. We see this constantly through all the other YouTube videos that you'll find online, educating you on different parts. Because if you just get customers and you advertise to them and you don't nurture them, your sales cycle might be months for large products or weeks for small and medium products and people have so much choice and they're very picky. So you have to be aware that people have that choice and that you need to bring people through the journey of your business to go from a complete stranger to loving your products and endorsing you and telling their family and friends about your business. So what you'll do when you come into Go High Level is, uh, well, let's jump back here. So when you're joining in to Go High Level, you can start off with a 14 day trial you can start off in a few different versions. Um, let's jump up here. So let's have a look at their own website. So what you can do is you can jump in, capture leads, whether it's using a website, using forms that you build, 
So if you've used ClickFunnels in the past or other landing page builders, even WordPress websites, then this can take over from that. So you can create individual offer pages and we'll have a look at the examples in a few minutes, what I use exactly for my business. And I'll show you some of our processes so you get a real understanding of what is good and what's bad with Go High Level. So there's drag and drop surveys. There are templates that are built into most areas of Go High Level. They do look to uh, standardize things. So you can, if you create a account for a customer and you do lots of different automations, that you can then copy all of that information and you can paste it across for a different customer which means if you deal with one type of niche, say dentists, for example, that you would be able to get one customer, sign them up, and it might take you a long time to set up. And then when you go for the second customer and you sign him up, it may take a quarter of the amount of time. And then you keep repeating that, you copy and paste it for the other customers, saving you a huge amount of time of onboarding clients and allowing you to accelerate and streamline your business. You can manage in all of your customers information, communication with your customers through email, text messages from your Google My Business, your social media pages like Facebook um, Instagram accounts. All of those messages are going to funnel into one place. Having the extra benefit of a SMS messaging platform is really good. O over the years, we've never had a platform that deals with all of these things in one place. We were always forced into a separate platform for SMS, or we would just deal with customers and push out communication through email. While with SMS, you get a 99% open rate. So it's a, it's a well underutilized platform that you should be using to communicate with your customers, especially for local businesses. You can set up fully automated conversations and bookings. AI has been introduced throughout Go High Level helping you curate content for social media or within the websites or landing pages themselves. There's AI built in and uh, same with booking bots. So one of the things that you can do with Go High Level is we see there's a contact form here. It says, hello, John Mc uh, McGovern, uh, how can we help you today? So this will go into Go High Level's system where we'll turn up as a lead and we will receive some communication directly back from them. And they could have a setup where we receive a text message saying, hey, you filled in that form. You didn't complete the, the process and you didn't book in an appointment. Would you have a time that you'd like to have a chat? And that's where the AI booking bot will come in and you say, eh, maybe, maybe next week. And we'll say, well, here's our available times, which one suits you? And it will look to close that customer to turn them, uh, to close that lead and turn them into a customer, which is a great offering. It is going to be the future going in. You can connect in um, OpenAI, which does take additional work to set up. But if you're looking to use their own built-in booking bot, it is integrated with an AI function and they are improving it all of the time. Um, Go High Level is really good at customer service, providing you with feedback and support. Um, we'll have a look at that in a few minutes as well, where I show you what you can do. So the whole goal is to allow you to build your business and offer your services and products to your customers at scale, saving you time, saving you money. So you don't have to hire in other people. So again, you'll keep seeing that they're helping you to manage your pipeline and to close more deals and that you can grow with them. So if you're an agency, you can white label go high level. So for example, we go here, we have login.glassholemedia.ie. If we don't want to tell our customers about um, Go High Level, we would just bring them to this website address and we can customize the look and feel of this if we prefer to. And we still want to tell our customers about Go High Level. But if you wanted to resell it at any type of price point, then you can do that, no problem at all. Okay, let's jump in and have a look at some of the features. So. If you sign up to their uh, individual plan, it starts at $97 per month. That is the lowest plan that they offer. That is for one business. If you're looking to sign up as an agency where you get unlimited uh, sub accounts, where you get unlimited clients and it, your cost doesn't increase. So we have 30 customers and they're all in go high level. And our monthly cost is $500 essentially. So 
I've hired people in the past and those expenses can go into thousands of euro, tens of thousands of euro per month once you go into a small team. Well, Go High Level allows you to streamline everything that you do with your customers. When, when you log in, so let's jump back out here, go to agency view. So agency view is the top line of uh, for our agency. This allows us to have multiple accounts that we see that will allow us to manage customers individually. So here's one specific customer, which is 3D Virtual Tours, and it can give us all the information. So if they hook in their phone numbers, their emails, if they're doing appointment bookings, all of that information is built in here. Now, the great thing is, good and bad thing that they do is all of the features are, it's a bit overwhelming when you sign in to go high level. So what you need to understand is who are you going to target? What's your niche as a, what customers are you looking for? And what parts of go high level do you want to offer those people? If you go very technical and you tell them all the hundred different features and benefits that you can do, you're going to overwhelm them. You're going to overwhelm yourself with a lot of work. So what I recommend is you have a small amount of features and benefits that you offer your customers. We usually focus on lead generation to get our customers to increase their sales and to help them to automate some processes. So we would deal with small teams where they may not have a full-time marketing person and they're looking to outsource some of that work. That's where we would come in ourselves. And there's lots of different ways that you can, can slice the pie for your customers. You could offer them a 30 euro monthly chatbot, or you could offer them the full service for 500 euro per month. Or if you white label this, you could offer it at any price that you feel like. So agency dashboard, we can set up a monthly subscription. So when the, these prices are being offered to our customers that we're looking to sign up to the software on its own, honest opinion is the pricing that go high level pushes towards you is too high. It is expensive um, for what you get back. So even for example, you'll see all the other videos, they'll say premium 497 and your professional is 197 per month and all you need is five clients and then you've got a full-time wage. That's fine. But most small, medium businesses are not going to throw out 500 euro just for the software and then for you to manage it for another 500 or 1000 euro on top and then for you to manage social media and pay for ad spend they're going to be going into 10 20 50000 euro per year very fast so i do think that most of the videos are pushing you towards high prices and we can see this through their built in uh, pricing setup so we can say you've got a 30 day or 14 day trial as an individual user, if you are looking for one account and you'd like to work with Glassful Media, get in touch with me, tell me you watched this video and I'll set you up with a 30 day trial instead of a 14 day trial. So standard pricing, we have two way, two way text and email conversation. This is beautiful. I love having phone numbers and emails that we can communicate with customers. Sorry, we have phone numbers emails and text messages that we can communicate with customers. So what we're looking to do the whole time is to capture our customers information so we can communicate back with them and understand what steps have happened in between from first reaching out to us and then six months later signing up with us. So you can send text messages back and forth. Google My Business, this is the most underutilized online social media platform. If you want to create content, help your website rank online and do it for free, Google My Business is one place that you should be posting content. You can go to Google My Business right now and do that and post out some content. But within Go High Level, Google My Business is one of the social media platforms that you can do to schedule posts. We'll go also have a look at that in a few minutes. So let's say here, standard pricing, I've just pushed this down to $5 per month to see what I'm allowed to do. If I go into the professional option, where this includes the CRM, the calendar, the text messaging templates, email templates, uh, forms. This is what you want people to be using. You want, you really want them on the premium model, not because it costs more money so you can rake in a bit more money, but because it has more benefits for your customers. So for example, email marketing, very simple thing. Workflows, that's one of the main things that you will want to use in your business. 
So this is why it is up in the premium. This is where you save your time. This is where you build your automation is workflows. The forms is great. The CRM and calendar, they're all essential for pretty much every business. So straight away, if you're just looking to increase your uh, processes and the functionality of your business, you're kind of forced into professional pretty fast. And then when you want to accelerate the growth of your business or to set up automations or to set up workflows, then you are instantly set up to premium. Now, if I try to put $10 a month for professional, you see here, we're getting an error message. No, it must be a minimum of $197 per month. And they do this because they've set this up to, let's say start, because when you sign up to go high level, they give you a few videos to get started, to get set up, to set up a pricing page. So this is our current pricing page. And when they do this, they want you again to keep the value of go high level high. So they're pushing all resellers like us, like any agency to sell them at 500 per month. But if you reach out to their support, they will tell you that you can resell this at any price that you want. But then again, when you go back into their software, their software is forcing you uh, through their easier method of setting up some automations and getting customers on board. Then they're trying to force you into 197 and they try not to announce that information to anyone. So you can actually offer all of Go High Level features for $10 a month if you want, but you can't do it here. Because again, if you get offer people premium and I try to put an antenna, it says it must be minimum of 297. That's because it is the easiest place. And I'm guessing where 99% of Go High Level agencies are pushing their customers, unless they're, you are an agency offering specific nuances or specific features of this, like the, uh, the text to pay option. And that's all you're offering your customer or social media platform, social media scheduling. That's all you're offering your customer. So one of the other options you see here is prospecting. This is to allow agencies to try to find new clients. Sub accounts, you get your list of sub accounts so you can see and manage all of the different clients that you have for your business. Account snapshots, this is a great benefit to Go High Level. And again, I'm sure if you've watched multiple videos for Go High Level, this is one of the main features that people talk about. This is where acceleration of scalability for your business come in. So say you only focus on attorney snapshots, you can download, uh, if a snapshot includes multiple things, it includes a funnel, multiple funnel landing pages, it includes automations that are built in and recommendations, and it's all templated, built out for you. So either you could use these pre-built ones, which they're all focused on local businesses, like your day spa, your dentist, your gym, martial arts, real estate, pet control, restaurant, solar snapshot, yoga, um, but when you get more into the software, you'll find that you actually want to customize the snapshots and then you've got a better version of your own snapshot that you can use when you go with your own new customers. Reselling, um, so you're able to resell things when you sign up to the largest plan, you are able to make a cut from all of the extra services that your own customers use. If you're in the US, and the UK for now. So again, this is one of the issues with uh, being based in Ireland or in Europe is this is an SEO plugin benefit and Yext is one of the biggest SEO providers to get you listed on directories like Golden Pages, uh, Golden or lo uh, local listing directory websites. That's where this comes in. And if I want it as an agency, I can make some money off my customers. You can resell WordPress hosting. Um, we include this just because it's built into the software, um, but we don't really use it with our customers. I, there are other ones like your phone messaging or your AI, AI content credits. Um, there are other things. And as an agency, we can pick, I'll have a look at that in, um, in a second now. You can pick if you want to charge people a multiple, say it costs us one euro per phone call. It's obviously not that high. But if it costs one euro per phone call, then we can resell it and charge our customers a multiple 1.1 of that. So uh, 
one euro and 10 cent, or we could charge 100 euro if we wanted. So they give you the ability to increase and decrease the pricing, which is good. You just need to be careful and conscious of being competitive, because if you're not competitive, your clients will leave. Um, marketplace, so they offer a marketplace for agencies to help you hire people who are go high level experts. So you can get accounts set up or have priority support, so that's 300 per month. So they do start getting pricey. But again, if you've got multiple clients set up in go high level, it's actually a very low cost. And that's what they're gunning for. They're looking to get customers who have 30, 50 clients set up and they'll charge you 300 per month for a priority support. Their support is awesome. Let's have a quick look at that while we're here. So on the right hand side, we have help, welcome courses. We've got a live chat function. There's daily events. There's a private Facebook group. There's a help center. There's lots of videos. Their YouTube channel has a crap load of videos as well. Live chat, let's say we've got an issue here. So we'll say uh, this is a new ticket. Um, depending on what time of the day that you come here and you look for this support, it is going to say, um, it will drag you through this. You give a description of what's happening. You give a, a Loom video, a short video recording, which they can watch to help them understand your issue. And their agents will, a lot of the time, jump on a Zoom meeting with you to work out the problem. Usually they're 15 minute calls or they'll just deal with it through an email support ticket, which you can say you want to talk to an agent or just deal with it through an email support. They have been testing out Zoom a lot more over the last while, which is great. Affiliate portal, we do not have any affiliates yet. So if you do feel like coming in, this is one thing as an agency that you can do. You get 40% recurring commission for customers that you sign up and 5% for commission from their earnings. So for example, if you watch this video, you sign up with us, we would make 40% recurring revenue. And then if you then go get your friend to sign up, you get 40% of their revenue and we would get 5% from their base commission or their base monthly subscription that they sign up. Universities, so they've got some more courses, SaaS ideas, and um, you can add in your own items onto this. So we just created our own course to onboard our own customers where we've got four different videos. Now let's jump into a sub account. So this is a client account. You sign up a customer. This is what the customer will see. So this is the dashboard. When you sign up customers, it's really good that they give you a launch pad. They give, give you suggestions of what you want to get people signed up with to get their mobile app and mobile app installed because this is one of the best retention providers for your business for you to hold on to customers it has lots of hooks to get you a customer to stay with you for a long period of time if you look at agencies who are offering uh, monthly services they don't last very long but with software people stick around a lot longer and the lifetime value for your business is a lot higher dashboard you can edit this a bit if you want but it gives you a, a good snapshot of what you're doing in your business. It says here are the opportunities, the pipeline that is available, what kind of conversion rate you have, and it breaks it down even further. You can start seeing phone calls and SMS that go through this. We actually, one of the pains in my butt with Go High Level is, so phone calls and SMS messaging, it's 10 times more expensive than based in the USA. So if, we send a text message out using Go High Level. It's not their fault either, it's Twilio. If we send a text message out, it costs 10 cents per customer. So we only have a 1.1 multiple for charging our own clients because we don't really want to make money off it, but we do have uh, support questions that come directly into us. So we need to have something there to help us compensate for the loss in the support. Um, if we wanted to have a phone number that people can phone call and text message, we need different phone numbers. We need two separate phone numbers. This isn't the case in the US. You only need one phone number where um, a customer can call, a customer, let me open this. A customer can call the app on your phone. Let me even open the app here. So let's go in here. So you get an app, it's called Lead Connector. And what this will show you is a lot of different information. It'll give you notifications. It will show you your opportunities. You can respond to customers straight away. You can see your calendar. That's 
built in, which can link into your Gmail or your Outlook or whichever provider you want. Um, you can look at all your contact details. It's great. It has so many features in there. But if in Europe, if I want someone to call me and SMS me, then I need two separate phone numbers, which is a bit of pain when I'm offering cut services to clients. And one of the big benefits that people talk about with Go High Level is this feature called uh, Miss Call Text Back. So for example, you connect this virtual number to your Google My Business page. If someone calls that number, so someone goes to your Google Maps and they see your business listing and they call you and they say, hey, I want to, uh, I want to book an appointment. I want to come in and get a massage. Uh, and you don't answer, you will then receive a text message back from that business, which is great, which is an awesome feature. But if you're, if, anyway, if you're built, if you are based in Ireland, the Twilio phone numbers that are available to us are limited. They only have a phone number that does SMS or phone calls. So we need two separate numbers and we can't do that damn feature of missed call text back which is really annoying because it's a great feature. And if anyone from Go High Level is watching this, please push Twilio to introduce this feature because it is a pain. Um, and I'm sure it's down to Ireland in phone providers and negotiating with them, but man, it's such a good feature. Okay, manual tasks. So you can see that tasks are in here. You can have different workflows to have a look at individual ones or to see what staff members are assigned to it. You can see tasks that are built in here. You can see I do not use the tasks that are built into the software. If we, they're a bit basic, um, but they are good, especially if you've got staff members who are set on set goals, while what I'm doing is a bit more exploratory and the tasks can vary in a lot of ways. So I usually use my calendar to manage tasks. So uh, follow up, sign up, you can tick this off and it will disappear. Um, I've talked to this guy multiple times. I've done all of these tasks. So there we go, those tasks are gone, but you can look at them for each individual staff member. You can have a look at the leads that come into you and the sources that they have come from, if you've won them, if you lost them. So you can know that oh, our Facebook leads is generating us most money or people from our website chatbot that is generating us our most bit of money. Okay, so we are in the conversations tab of Go High Level. This is where all the communication for your customers comes in from your email, from your SMS, from phone calls. It will display all of the information in here. You can respond directly to people here. So let's just have a look. So here's me testing things with myself. So this is what I say, and um, this is a chatbot communication, or this is a text message. So you can see a little green icon here. We see the communication back and forth. Me asking myself, what services do you offer? And it says, oh, thanks, here's uh, information. So I've actually connected this to OpenAI, which allows a uh, better booking bot conversation to happen, which we can train our booking bot on more information about our business, the products and services that are available. It has all the communication information on the right hand side, like the phone number, if we have them in a automation campaign. Text messages, emails, phone calls will come through here. At the bottom, it says send email. So we can say uh, send email. We can add an attachment, which will connect right directly into our computer. We can add in a template. So if we've got, um, let's say this one here, marketing service promo, use this template. So it says, hi, contact first name, a lot of the communication that you'll see with Go High Level is they push you in the right way to use these uh, pre-filled pieces of information. So instead of me manually writing in, hi, John, I'll, I, you see this template, I clicked one button and here's the template, it has multiple parts in here. It says, hi, contact first name, here's the information, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can read this information and here are attachments. One of the annoying things is the attachment doesn't display what it's actually called in the communication, but this is a great piece. Conversations is awesome. Calendars, this is pretty good as well. One of the issues with calendars is to display everyone's calendar in one dashboard. So I want to see multiple staff members on this page. I don't believe that is possible in any way, but if I want to click here and say, there's an, I want to, add blocked off time or want to, I want to book an appointment. Um, this will allow me to book an appointment with any of our, our customers. 
and to schedule that time out whether it's half an hour or three hours long it is fantastic and this talks it so we use gmail as our primary email so this actually communicates back and forth with our email so if i book in something here it's going to sync with my google calendar straight away and same thing with emails going in and out all emails will go through go high level um contact information we've got all of our contacts and it shows you um you can say i've got john mcgovern and he came from facebook inbound marketing let's have a look at that now so opportunities opportunities we've got um different pipelines and when you come in it's going to be blank so you'll go in opportunities let's look at a different one seo ebook i don't use this so here is a workflow so we have new customers that will come in they download an ebook we then push them across to be a hot lead and we can remove them from the workflow and automate that process if we want to through the automation section we can edit this very easily by creating a new pipeline new pipeline let's say book appointment stage name new hot hot lead uh, schedule the call talked and one and last okay we'll say one and save now let's go back to the opportunities tab and let's select the drop down reload it because it needs a second close these pages here thanks for sticking around for the video hopefully you're getting a lot of value we've got more value coming up so if you're sticking around it is much appreciated and leave a comment down below let me know if i missed anything that you wanted me to check out or if there's any issues that you want to see and yeah i can see that the camera is flickering okay so we've got the book appointment tab in here we've got new hot scheduled talked one so opportunity so i say john mcgovern i say john at glassfulmedia.ie John at glassfullmedia.ie. I won't even go to here. What I'll do is I'm going to go back to the, the existing one that we have. So these are all drag and droppable. I can go, here's the user. He's on a trial. Let's click onto the name of this. So now I'm back into the contact details and I can see the communication that's happening. And it says, are you a robot? And it responds, no, I'm not a robot. I'm, a, I'm an appointment booking bot. I can also help you book an appointment, which is great. I think that's all awesome. So we can come in here, we can see the contact details over the right hand side. So this is pretty important. And this is where you start understanding, okay, I closed a 10,000 euro sale. Where the hell did that sale come from? How did they find themselves over here? So first they visited a page on this date and this time they submitted a form. They were then created as a free trial account with the demo form. They visited a different page and they submitted a form again. And then we've got all the communication here. We can add some tasks and notes. These are all great. Then we scroll down to the general information about the customer. We can add tags in. So say this one originally came from ChatGPT. Um, that's our booking bot. So that's why we have a tag. We can add in new tags in here. So Facebook lead, campaign workflow. We can add people in. And these are our automations. So we say um, workflow, we've got them in the past. In these workflows and here's a new workflow that we want to put them in so we'll call this website web chat reply to message and then that will create automations that we design for ourselves okay that's enough for contacts uh, opportunities again it's just great because we can put a value behind these so we say this is worth 500 euros a customer we can call them view the conversation we can see the tags add notes add tags add an appointment really fast for all these different people um, and you can go directly into them and you can have different pipelines. Payments. So if you're looking to charge customers, say you're out on the road and you, um, your you don't want to deal in cash anymore or you don't want to invoice a customer after the job, you can get onto them straight away with, and say you agree a price of a thousand euro. You can go into your phone. Within a few seconds, you go in and you're going to create a new action and you're going to create an invoice. I know you can't see this, but I'm going to create an invoice. I'll put in the client name and put in the value amount and the note behind it. And then that customer will receive an invoice directly to their phone and they can pay for that with one click 
or with a few clicks. So it reduces barrier to entry for you to get paid by your customers and to make sure everything's fine. And it doesn't stop there. So it's not just once off payments. You can add in subscription products. You can add in coupon codes. You can view all the orders and transactions and products and coupon codes that you have set up in here. Now they've introduced integrations. So uh, for example, we use Stripe for all of our payment gateways. They have different payment gateways, PayPal's in there as well. And they're only improving and getting better as they go. Uh, in the marketing section, social media channels, and you can schedule out your social posts for um, your Google My Business, your Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Uh, what is missing here is Pinterest would be nice to see. I think that's the main one that I'd like to see in here. You can get an overview snapshot as a manager to see what accounts have been posting, what ones have been published. Um, these are all published, but they do have a upload. So they've got a, a section where you can schedule posts and you can upload CSV files to upload multiple social media posts in one at one time. Every time I've done this, they always end up being pending and I have to manually go back into the social media post individually and to schedule the actual time for it. So it seems to defeat the purpose of it. It seems to be a bit buggy and uh, it has frustrated me in the past on trying to bulk upload social media posts. So if they fix that, that would give a lot of benefit. Automations, this is one of the best things again about, um, about uh, go high level. So let's have a look at forward everything from customers. So if anyone contacts us for our business, we need to set up an, a notification. So this means if anyone replies to us through a text, email, whatever it is, we get a notification on our app. So we get it on my phone. We also get it as an email. So I set this up where an email and we're gonna get a note to say, hey John, here's a customer who contacted you. Here's your first name. Here's the message they sent. And here's the session source. Um, so that should tell you this customer came from Facebook or SEO or whatever it is. I haven't found the session source session source to work, but it should be a very good thing. Um, but it, it again, it seems a bit buggy. Test emails, you can send out test emails to see how you're getting on. Let's go back to workflow. Let's grab another one. So do, 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 book a call. So if you go to our calendar, so what we do is we get people onto our website. They go in and they want to book an appointment. When they book an appointment, they see a calendar that is set up. This is connected directly from Go High Level. It integrates with one click from uh, for your website. It's pretty easy to drag this in if you're technical or not. There are lots of YouTube videos out there. So here are our appointments. So we'll go, I want to talk to this person on the 18th at 2.30. Let's select that time. It can pre-fill, so sticky information for your contacts. Pre-fills all the information in here, phone number, email, additional information, and let's schedule this meeting. Okay, that's going to schedule the meeting. Great, your meeting, meeting has been scheduled. It's for 10 minutes. That has automatically created a calendar appointment in my calendar and in your calendar. That is making it easier for you to remember that we have a call coming. And what then happens is you are then, you are then added to our automation. So what we see here, it's not as complicated as it looks. It says the trigger is when someone fills in the 10 minute intro call, the next step happens. So it goes vertically down, it just drops. So it says condition, if they're already a lead or a customer, we don't want to do a lot of these. Um, we want we want to get rid of some of these bits uh, over here. So we don't want to create them as an opportunity because they're already created. You can change this very easily. Uh, so let's just look at none. So the first bit here says, let's assign a user. This is for John McGovern. It gives our app a notification to say, hey, John, here's a call that's been booked. Cancel this. It also sends us an email to say, hey, John, this is an email from this person has booked an appointment for you. So I get mul uh, multiple notifications. It then sends a text message to the customer. So straight away, they book in a call and they receive a message to say, great, thanks for signing up to a call. Here's the time that your appointment's going to start. It then waits 60 minutes and it sends out a tip about our software. 
to help educate people about what we do and why it may be worthwhile talking to us or signing up with us. Then again, it waits another day and it sends a tip. And then this is a nice appointment uh, manager. So it waits till one day before the appointment that is set up. That's when the next action is gonna happen. So then they receive an SMS and say, hey John, within 24 hours, your meeting is going to happen. So looking forward to talking to you. Read this if you uh, so you learn more about our services before we talk. It also sends an email. Then 15 minutes before the appointment, it sends an email and a text message again. And it says, hey, don't forget our appointment is in 15 minutes. Here is the meeting link, which is a Google meeting link. Add it to your calendar, add it to your Outlook. So you get all of the information directly into your inbox, prompting you and reminding you that this call is coming, helping you reduce the amount of drop-offs that are coming in. Um, all of these things can be, let's say, uh, we can copy this, copy action. Let's copy it over to here. Yeah, there we go. So that's, we instantly copied that information over here and then we can edit this information, change the from email address, all of that stuff, or cancel. Let me check. So some of the good things, so many options, that's also a bad thing, which we addressed at the very start. Great customer service, automations. It is hard to learn all of the different options that are available to you. So you see on the right hand side, there's a lot of options. Um, there's a lot of reasons and ways that this is going to go down the path. So this is a learning curve. I'd recommend watching some learning videos individually on um, on how to use the automations and workflows within Go High Level because there's so much benefit and added value that is in here. You just need to understand what's available to you. So you can uh, automatically respond to people, schedule out different workflows. If someone signs up to you, you can have a month's worth or a year's worth of communication that goes back to those people. Sites. This is, um, let's say, I'm actually going to jump into a client account because they gave me access. They gave me, uh, they were happy for me to share this. So let's say Pilates, 30 euro for three classes. So we have three steps that are set up for this. You've got products that are set up on the right hand side. So you can create different types of products. Here's a test product overview. You can uh, have a look, you can AB test this, which is awesome again. So you can have two different versions. Maybe you only change the color or some of the text within it. So the page, let's have a look. There are templates available for you. Again, Go High Level has lots of templates, which is amazing. Um, it's pretty easy, it's all drag and drop. Let's have a quick look at editing this page. Okay, so here's the page. I think it looks pretty well. There are one or two limitations, but not really many um, to this. So we have uh, a nice layout, contrasting colors, stating what we benefit. We've got a countdown timer. We've got a pop-up. So if we go to, I want this voucher, it's now going to come up again with the pop-up and it's got the payment information. It pre-saves all the information. So maybe I filled it in the first time, I wasn't too sure, and I left and I came back a few days later. My information is pre-filled in for me, helping to reduce the barriers to entry for me to sign up. Claim special offer, it goes to payment method, and then it requests, um, here's what you're signing up to, and make a payment, and within a few clicks, again, everything's integrated. And then if I make that payment, uh, so here, here's the editing. We've got, we can move this down, down, down. We can delete this. We can add a new section, say full width. Okay, full width, add a row. We're gonna have four rows. Within this row, we're gonna have a button. Within this row, we're gonna have a form. Select your form, here's our form. Within this row, we're gonna have um, a headline. You can click on it and it will bring you up different options. So now I want to go up to the top and I'm gonna change the color. Color of this is white. Color of, see now, you've got your color and then you've got bold text color. Everything is separated and go high level. So you do need to learn those nuances. So yes, it is great to edit, delete, change, move, and um, all of the different areas within these landing pages. Leave, yep, I do not want to save. It then redirects me and when someone makes a payment through this, 
So for this customer, we have a setup. When you make a, let's go into the automation, 30 euro for three classes. When you go into this, so the automation, when you make a payment for that product, 30 euro for uh, three classes, um, we enter people into the automation so they then receive the emails, communication, letting them know, book into your calendar, all that stuff. Um, and the way that we trigger that in this place is they have to place an order for that product. Um, there's an option that you could fill out a calendar, but you could potentially go through the calendar and book yourself in two or three times. Um, when you make payment, the next page that you see for this is, is a calendar. So this calendar is built in here, which will allow you to book in with the different days and times, and you can continue, select your time and continue, and then you put in your information. So you're only allowed to fill in these calendars as long as you have made payment. Then we assign a user for their staff members. We add a tag to say that it's for the Pilates discount deal. They're created as an opportunity. So within the pipe uh, pipeline, this opportunity is created automatically after they make payment. We, we internally in the business receive an email through our app and an email. The customer receives an email within a, a minute, they receive a separate email to say, here are the times that you booked in with the calendar appointment that you set up. Then over a few days, they receive some tips and information about what's good about Plades and our studio and what's great for you and why we are the company for you to sign up with. This video is going on a bit long, so I'm gonna cut a few bits out here. <clears throat> Websites, we don't use, uh, I recommend just going directly through your own host, pay 100 quid per year, use WordPress or use Shopify. Shopify is great, it's slightly easier than WordPress, but if you're using any sort of e-commerce, you're gonna start getting charged and your fees can jump quite fast. So just do that through your own hosting, don't worry about uh, the WordPress side here and WordPress will deal with your blogs. I wouldn't separate it and have it in here. I'm not sure the best benefit. There's a client portal, which is new, which I have not explored, but does seem to be a good benefit. Forms, so if you're looking to have forms, so this is the form that's created on our, let's view this. Right, let's go into contact page form. So here's the form. This is the one that we fill out on the Glassful Media Contact Us page. or this, we didn't fill this one out, but this is what the form looks like. So within one or two clicks, we integrated this onto the website and we've got the first name, all this information syncs back into the software, which is essential. If we wanted to change this, we can uh, change the place noting, uh, the, add a name on top, or we could change the text inside of it. We can make it required or we can hide it. Okay, so forms are great. Yeah, don't wanna save. Surveys, so if you're looking to learn more about your customers before they contact you, so you um, you create some barriers to entry, so they fill in a form saying, I wanna have a free one hour course with you. First, you need to answer all of these questions. So let's go into the survey builder for a quick second. So survey, so slides, so you've got your different slides in here where you can, where is the one that I've already created? Let's go into a different customer. We'll go into village physio. Don't want to save that information. Village physio, hit reload. It does use a lot of memory for your computer. So if you're using a older computer, you might find it uh, slowing down or turning the fan on quite aggressively on your computer um, because there's a lot going on. So we go into sites, surveys, builder, you can analyze the submissions. So pain assessment survey. So let's go into this client's actual website. Uh, it's drag and drop the same way that we had a look at with the contact form builder. So this customer has a free consultation. We'll go in and what pops up here is um, let's go test, let's do this, test, test at gmail, right, gla.com, put in a captcha, request free consultation, 
And then the next page that we're brought to is the survey. So we start filling it out and we say, okay, cool. Uh, this is uh, how, how aggressive that I'm, what's wrong with me, how important this is to me, where, what I've done in the past, what I can do to improve myself. You could ask questions like what kind of budget I have available, where, what days of the week I'm available. So you can start breaking down a lot of things with your customers before they contact you, helping you to weed out people who are not necessary. You can then build out automations, which are going to, if they answer questions in a certain way and they say, our budget's a tenor, then they're going to go to a, sorry, you're not really set for us, or thanks for submitting your information. You're not really the best fit for our business, but here's a document that will teach you more about our business and how you can get yourself to the next level. And then when they're ready, they can come back and they can fill in the form. So again, automations go a lot further. Memberships. So we've just created a course, as I mentioned, um, for ourselves, it's free. It's just for our customers. You can see I'm the only member in there at the moment. Um, so we've got four different videos that are built in here. So we can put in a title, a description. We can charge money people for this if we want. We upload the video directly into Go High Level which is great because they're actually hosting all this information rather than us having a, putting it on YouTube and hosting it there or putting it into a paid video subscription provider. So uh, courses, great stuff. Set yourself up with a course. Reputation management. This is a golden little bit that you should be doing with your business. So if you go to Google and you look for Visio Dublin, if you look for a local business, um, what we start seeing is here we've got Google Maps, we've got Kil uh, Kilkenny. So this is a perfect company that we could target here. They don't have a website, so we could offer them a website. We could also say, look, are you looking to build out your reviews? So it's quite hard to get reviews, but what we can do here is we can do it in one click. So we can say, uh, John McGovern. So here's my phone number, send a review invite. Okay, so I need to enable this, but what will happen then is I'll receive a text message directly into my phone to say, please leave us a review. Uh, so I can change that setting there. Uh, let's do, 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 do. Turn this on, this is how easy it is. Okay, so we've turned it on. I would then receive, uh, please review our business. This. So what you can do here is if customers sign up for you, you could send them a survey. You could just send them this review request. So someone has finished an appointment with you, you send them a review request and it's one click. They get a hyperlink piece of text that will link directly into your Google My Business page, which means that those reviews will go directly onto Google, helping your business improve the SEO for your business and also giving more proof. So you can put testimonials on your website and Google reviews are everywhere. Um, you can add this into the automation. So say for example, you have a customer and automatically they finish three classes with you and then they receive a survey and it says, what do you think of our service out of 10? They say 10 out of 10. Then after, if they say 10 out of 10 or nine out of 10, they receive a follow-up e email that says, uh, then they receive the next part of the automation that says, can you fill in this survey, which they'll receive in a text message form or an email. So reputation management is another awesome feature. Reporting, reporting, don't use too much reporting through this. We can see that there are, let's go into Facebook ads. I think we have this turned off. So we can see some, let's see, do, 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 do this year, turn it on. Okay, so we can see the impressions, the clicks, the conversions. We can see the cost that is spent, the average cost per conversion, the average cost per click. We can see the campaigns that are listed out here with the costs, the names of them. We can go into each individual one and we can see some more individual uh, information that we are targeting in here. We can see the ads and the ad sets. I don't believe we can see the images themselves. In settings, integrations, calendar integrations, they do look to make all of this quite easy for you. So say integrations, if you're looking to connect your uh, your QuickBooks, your Google My Business, excuse me, a lot of this is done with one click integrations. So it makes it very easy for you. You can connect your Shopify, your Slack, your TikTok, 
and so on. So this is a great tool to use. Um, who is this best suited for? It is for any small, medium business, even larger businesses, because the scalability that is built in with Go High Level is incredible. If you wanted to have 100 staff members in here with all the automations and assigning tasks out to people and having different divisions, you can do all of that. If you were to use HubSpot or Salesforce, you could be running into tens of thousands of euro per month. Well, this is going to have one set monthly fee for you, which is fantastic because you know what your exposure, your risk is as a business owner. Um, there is a good learning curve. So if you're looking to implement this into your business, take it step by step. Don't introduce 100 different features and uh, services for your business. If you're an agency, offer one or two of the services to your customers. Sign yourself up to the 14 day trial, click the link below and uh, use one or two of the services. Don't dive into all of the different areas. If you've lost your time, great, do it. If you're not worried about money, great, do it. If you're not worried about money at all, just sign up with HubSpot, it's gonna save you a bit of time or Zoho or one of the other competitors, but you're gonna pay for it. Um, Go High Level is gonna save you a crap load of time. It's gonna take you a bit more of a learning curve. If you're outside the US, there are some bugs that you can find through the software. Sorry, not even if you're out of the US. In general, you will find there's some tweaks and editing that you need to do. Some of the automations that are built in will not work. So you test everything as you go and you will find a path and a method to work for your business. So with Go High Level, you could have five clients and that is your full-time job. You could have charged them each a thousand euro per month, offer them a full suite of services and you just offer consulting services, integrating and setting all this stuff up for you. It's hard for your clients to leave because you've got all the hooks in, because you've got their account details, their pipelines, their customer details. It's great if you want to leave as well. So you, uh, all, all of your customers can export all of their information. It's not stuck in Go High Level, which again is another important thing that you should be doing for your business. Don't know why I made myself small. I'm gonna make myself big for one last time. Just say, thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Click the links down below, check out our other videos, get in touch, ask me any questions, comment below. I've been John, thanks, and see you in the next video.